morning and aloha King's Kids Child Care Center. My name is Miss Papa and I am here because of my friend Miss Horn who was someone I went to college with at Colby Sawyer College in New London, New Hampshire. I am a marine biologist with a art minor and I have always been fascinated in animals. My favorite animal is a dog but as I got older I put some hard work in and started working at aquariums and I have swam in the water with tiger sharks, whale sharks, all the way down to the smallest little jellyfish. I came out to Oahu, Hawaii where I live now to pursue my dream of being a marine biologist. It is hard work but I get to live in this beautiful vast landscape surrounded by animals all around the island. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video. I will be talking about what types of plants are around this island and how this island has formed, so I hope you enjoy. The eight Hawaiian islands consist of Hawaii, Kaho'olawe, Maui, Lanai, Moloka'i, Oahu, Kauai, Ni'ihau. I live on North Shore in Haleiwa. The Hawaiian Islands were first formed 5.1 million years ago by a hot spot occurring in the middle of the Pacific Plate in the Pacific Ocean. Volcanoes formed in the middle of the plates, which is when magma arrives until it erupts on the sea floor. This is called a volcano. When volcanoes explode, sizzling lava erupts everywhere. And when it hits the cooler water, it hardens, forming land and mountains seen here. These Hawaiian islands contain 8 to 13 different climate zones with unique ecosystems. On the big island, the most voluminous volcano and tallest sea mountain arise. Technically taller than Mount Everest because it starts on the ground floor which is below the sea water level. Since these islands grew from the ground up, all plants and animals had to have drifted here or been carried by humans, which means 90% of our terrestrial native flora and fauna and animals are endemic, which means they are only found here. I am here at Wahiwa Botanical Garden to show you some native plants. There are more than 2,500 species of native plants in Hawaii and soon to be just as many non-native. 140 different ferns cover Hawaii in a lush green landscape from 1,000 to 9,000 feet above sea level. The middle and east side of most of the islands are lush and green with jungle growing where there is no development. Most plants thrive due to a lot of rain and sun all year long. Our first tree we will talk about is the Mandanao gum tree or famous rainbow eucalyptus tree due to its beautiful colorful bark. This tree can go up to about 250 feet. These next plants are heliconias. They have bright red flowers to attract hummingbirds for pollination. They have many different shapes and sizes and come in bright yellow, pink, and green flowers as well, stemming from the bottom or hanging from the top. And the large ones can grow up to about 30 feet. Their leaves are very large green leaves as well. Another name for this plant is called bird of paradise. In the wilds of the jungle, these large green leaves called monstera cover many forest landscapes in Hawaii. They can grow to be enormous, dozens of feet tall with holy leaves spreading to about two feet wide. Some of you guys might be wondering why this looks familiar. There are some movies that have been filmed throughout the islands like Indiana Jones, Kong Skull Island, Lost, 
Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, and Jurassic Park. This tree is called a banyan tree. It is a type of fig tree and is the largest on the island. There are nearly 800 different species and they can grow up to 40 feet tall and span over a quarter mile. This plant is actually a member of the grass family. There are between 1,200 and 1,500 species of bamboo. They are hollow and one of the fastest growing plants in the world. They grow about two inches per hour. They are one of the most used building materials around the world and it is used for building bridges, houses, floors, roofs, cooking and filtering water. This is the Hawaiian's favorite food because it's easy to grow and makes an abundance of poi. This is done by cutting off the root of the plant, boiling it, and then smashing it up against a poi board till it's like mashed potatoes. Elephant ears are in the same family but not edible and are in abundance around Hawaii as well. Most of you probably know what this is. Can you guess? A coconut tree, correct. It's a tree that lines most waterways because they float across seas where they land and can grow up to 100 feet tall. Can you believe that? Coconuts are the seeds of palm trees. They keep you hydrated with water and in the middle you can eat the white meat on the inside. These might look like coconut trees, but they're actually bananas. Ancient Hawaiians developed 70 varieties of them. These are actually not trees, but plants, and they can reach up to about 30 feet. Once they sprout, you can cut the stem and replant them for more. This is sugar cane, part of the grass family, providing cavities for everybody. Sugar cane is a fast-growing plant that produces a number of stalks that reach 10 to 24 feet and have spiky, sword-shaped leaves. This is Cameron. He chopped down a stalk and is simply tearing open the inside to suck the sugar out of it, but you still have to spit it out after. This regular looking tree is actually Hawaii state tree, the kukui nut tree, or otherwise known as the candle nut tree. This oil from this nut is very flammable, so they use it as a candle. They also use the oil to coat fishermen's nets, soaps, and body lotion. They use the nut for its dark brown color to paint boats, color hair, and use ink for tattoos and other art. These ancient Hawaiians used the durable trunk to make canoes, and this tree symbolizes protection, peace, enlightenment, and light, and was exchanged during marriage ceremonies. Did you know pineapples grow on bushes? They're very easy plants to grow inside or out. A fruit comes from the stem of the middle of the plant and you only get one pineapple per plant because they don't grow very large. The Dole Plantation is right down the road from us. That's probably where you get your pineapple. Mahalo for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot about Hawaii.